Man, I love wheels. <laughs> I really do love wheels. And if there's one thing that it makes photo equipment better is wheels. Because you don't have to carry stuff so much. You can wheel it, obviously. Now listen, Matthew sent me this thing. I had never seen one before, or if I had, I hadn't paid any attention to it. And it's got a ton of features. It's like a C stand on major steroids. And immediately when I started playing with it, I renamed it or named it the Magic Stand. Now what's kind of weird about that is it's been around for decades and Matthew's also called it the Magic Stand. So great minds think alike. Let me show you some of the things that blow me away about this Matthew's Magic Stand. Let's start with the wheels. Obviously the wheels lock, but they actually have two locking devices. One that stops the wheel turning and one that stops the wheel actually spinning. So when the wheels are locked down, you get a really, really sturdy base, which is what you need for safety. Okay, now, this magic stand has a magic finger. Now don't tell me you don't claim to have a magic finger or you don't want a magic finger, because you do, and this stand has one. Basically what it is, is a finger on the very top, which can spin 360 degrees and has a little notch, which allows it to go 90 degrees down and still spin 360 degrees. And also this little ratchet handle, if you've got something on here, I don't know, that's making it hard for you to tighten it up, it ratchets. So you can set it in the position where you want and ratchet up. And this is fabulous if you have stuff that you need that for, let me tell you. Okay, with every stand we expect some up and down, but this is quite cool because, watch this. Twelve and a half feet! Perfect. The real magic comes in this next bit. If I lift this riser all the way up and lock it off, there's a gap appears in the stand. And what's magic about that is if I unloosen the big guy here, I have a boom, ba-boom. And this is brilliant. It's like having a C-stand C arm, but much stronger and much longer. It's just brilliant all in one stand. First thing, safety. I'm gonna throw a sandbag around the bottom of the stand. And as we've said before, if the bag don't swing, it don't do a thing. So keep the bag off the ground to make it work. Next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I am boomed out over one of the long legs because you always want your weight to be over one of the long legs. So we've done that. And then I can show you just how far this guy booms out, which is phenomenal. I'm gonna put a light on it and show you what that looks like. On this end of the boom arm is a notch, and that's made so you can counterbalance your boom. We're using a sandbag right now, but you can use anything you want as a counterbalance. Now, if I go to the other side here, I got my fixture that when I put my light on, I can really feel the screw gripping really nicely onto that and it feels good. Next thing I'm gonna do is find a little bit of a balance point where it feels kind of good and that'll be right there. All right, so this is where this ratchet on the magic finger comes in. Um, Right now, I want to put my light around about here, and if I try and tighten it, I'm banging into my light, which is not good. So I can ratchet back. 
and tighten it with no problem. So this is all set. And then last but not least, if I want, So this is a great situation if I want my light overhead once again. You've seen me do this with the C-stand and that is great. But if I have the space to have this much space around me and have my light exactly where I want it is brilliant. So I'm really fond of it. If you need a light that's lower, you can also boom down on this guy and use your magic finger to adjust the light to however you need it. It's brilliant, I say. It's brilliant. It's always surprising and exciting to learn new things. And this piece of grip, I had no idea of its existence. So major thank you to Matthews for sending this, introducing this to me and it is magic. It's a magic stand. Um, great for in the studio, but because the center riser does come off and the wheels fold up, you can take it with you in a carrying bag similar to a C-stand. A little heavier, but fantastic. It's my new go-to and uh, I roll it everywhere with me. See you next time. Bye.